Santana, and today we're going to learn about the double digit multiplication. And with this, we hope students get out of this the uh, front load vocabulary, uh, learning goals, strategies, a tech tool, and an exit uh, ticket. With the exit ticket, we want to teach young students a uh, level assessment of uh, what they understand the material from this presentation. So let's get started. Front load vocabulary. Multiply the multiplication sign, okay? So the multiplication sign, obviously with uh, math, you have know, multiple signs, but for identifying the signs of multiplication is the x. A factor means there are two numbers that are being multiplied. So you have a factor, which is a number, times the sign, which is the multiplication sign, times another factor, which is a number. Product is the answer of the problem, okay? So if you have a factor, times the sign, times another factor, which, which is a number, equals a product, okay? That is one strategy I'm going to be teaching you today. So hopefully you guys understand that. Standard algorithm is another strategy that I'm going to be teaching you guys today as well. So for this uh, presentation, our goal is to have students uh, know the double digit multiplication, know how to multiply numbers with more than two digits, understand the techniques on how to multiply with lattice, and understand the algorithm, and also our goal is the students to choose a certain method that, uh, that works best for them from the strategy that we're teaching. So first strategy is the lattice, which is this strategy right here. A box with a T in between, three lines, and the numbers. I'll be going over that strategy in just a bit. A standard algorithm is if we have 42 times 22, your standard algorithm is when they're stacking each other. Okay, I'll be going over that strategy as well. Okay, first we're going to start with lattice. First you're going to make a box, like so, and T in the middle. Okay, and we're going to do 75 times 53. So I got 75, 75, 7 on the left, 5 on the right, times 53. First digit goes on top, second digit goes on the bottom. Now, from there, I'm going to draw three lines. One between the top right and the bottom of the box. Top right, corner, and then this corner right here from the top left box, okay? And with this, it's going to uh, divide the numbers from what we multiply, okay? So let's start off for uh, five, okay? First, you can do five times five. The first digit of your answer goes on top. The second digit of your number goes on the bottom. So five times five is 25. The first digit goes on top. Second digit goes on the bottom. And from there, we're going to do 5 times 3 is 15. Number 1, first digit on top. 5, second digit goes on the bottom. Now, you have 7 times 5 equals 35. First digit on top. Second digit, which is 5, on the bottom. Sorry. And then 7 times 3, 21. First digit on top. Second digit on the bottom. Now, draw a line, cancel them out. That way it doesn't cause confusion for you when you proceed up from this problem, okay? Now all your main focus is in this box right here, okay? Now with this line, like I said, we're trying to divide the numbers, and with dividing them, we're gonna add the numbers in between the lines, okay? So we got the first line right here, five, okay? Since you have no other number to add, that's just the answer right there, five. And then you have one, one, and five, you add those three digits together, one plus one plus five, seven. And then you have five plus two plus two equals nine. And then you have three. So remember, hey, you have nothing else to add it with? That's your answer. So now our product, which is the answer, is 3,975, okay? Now I'm gonna go over some problems where there's sometimes there are single digits, okay? So now we draw our lines again. Now you got 25 times 43. Okay? So now hey, we're gonna divide the numbers up by multiplying them, right? Five times four is 20. 
play, our first digit on top, second digit on the bottom. Five times three, it's 15. Two times four. Now here's a single digit answer, okay? What we're going to do with single digit answers, we put the first digit zero, since it's a single digit. And the actual answer on the second, on, a, on the bottom, okay? Two times three is six, since it's a single digit. We had zero on the top, and we have six on the bottom, okay? Cross these lines out, because they're not part of the problem anymore. They don't want to cause confusion. So remember, between this line and down, we add, because there's, there's no other number to add. That's a number right there, five. Six plus one, seven. Eight times two, or eight plus two is 10. But we want the second digit for the answer carried over to the top one, such as zero. We put a one. Now we add zero plus one. That's our answer. 1,075. Okay? Now, from here, I'm going to teach you the standard algorithm. Okay? Say we do 12 times 12. Okay? Standard algorithm, remember, we stack them, okay? So we have 12 times or the factor, the multiple location sign, times another factor. That's stacking for standard algorithm, okay? Now we're gonna go step by step from here. We're gonna start with the two uh, on the right, two times two is four. There we go, bottom right to the top left, two. Then we're gonna have an X right here. Because we wanna X, because we don't wanna uh, make sure we're not having confusion of putting the numbers underneath because it's more than double digits. That's why we have to put one line or an X. So we have two digits, then we have an X. Okay? Always remember that. When we have two digits, we always have to put an X right here. So now we go left to right. One times two, two. Now top to uh, the second level, or first level. One times one, one. Four. Four, one. Now our answer is 144. So that's standard algorithm to find your answer to multiply, all right? Now for a tool, uh, the tool that I uh, chose is a Kahoot. It's a good software, good website to use. You can uh, upload the questions as well as the answers, and the kids can have fun with it. You can uh, have all, all the kids uh, participate all at once. We have the clickers, and then uh, when we have a problem, the students will press either A, B, or C, or true or false, depending on what the question is. And then, then we can see the results of what students uh, understand from that question. Okay, here's Kahoot right here. Okay? We got a quiz question of multiplication with the, uh, an the answers. We can have a question to it, and we also have a true or false question. So the students will uh, have a quiz, you know, um, a true or false, and I'll see a question for them to understand the, uh, the strategies, the definitions, okay, and signs, you know, that we just presented today. And for my exit ticket, I'll be handing out flashcards, and I want to get a little good assessment, you know, as soon as I understand the material that I presented today. So each student will get a, a flashcard, they will put the name on the top right, the date on the top left, so that way I understand um, what we presented that day, as well as the title of what we uh, presented, which is double digit multiplication. Okay? And then the students will either put A, B, C. A, I understand the material. B, I kind of understand the material. Or C, I don't understand the material. This gives a good assessment for me that what students need more assistance and for me to monitor, and what students are doing, uh, understand the material and understand the strategies that I'm teaching, uh, that I present today. Thanks so much. I hope we all learn uh, everything I present today. Thanks so much.